The House of Representatives continues their preparation for the President's fifth sauna on Monday with disinfection measures currently underway. To give us more details, Ria Fernandez joins us live from Quezon City. Ria, how's it going over there? Sean, the Batasan complex is on lockdown as authorities ramp up preparations three days before the fifth State of the Nation address of the President. Making the rounds at the Batasan for her third time directing the President's address to the nation, filmmaker Joyce Bernal admits while this year's version is simpler due to the pandemic, it's bound to be more technically complicated. Nalimit yung mga tao dito sa loob, pero merong mga remote areas na kailangan kong kunan. At saka yung mga video conference, meron na akong ano, IT na gagawa nun. So hindi ako marunong sa ganyan. As part of health protocols, the whole complex was put on lockdown on Friday for disinfection. A misting facility for entering vehicles was installed in each gate. Of the more or less 50 attendees, half will come from the lower house, 22 lawmakers and three house officials. They will undergo swab testing on Sunday and rapid testing on Monday. Should health issues arise, Malacanang has been set as the president's alternate venue. Under the 18th Congress, five of the president's legislative priorities laid out in the 2019 SONA were enacted into law, including the postponement of the Barangay and SK elections and a salary hike for teachers and nurses. Others remain pending at the Senate, such as the creation of the Department of Overseas Filipinos. While the 2020 budget was swiftly approved, a big chunk was realigned for COVID funds under the Bayanihan Law. Two stimulus packages were also passed, the Arise and Cures Bill. But the most controversial measures would have to be the denial of ABS-CBN's franchise renewal and the passage of the Anti-Terror Bill. I think it's a high for Congress to be able to stand up uh, against very powerful businessmen in the country, but it's a law na maraming mawawalan ng trabaho. House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano is supposed to turn over the leadership to Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco this year, based on their term-sharing agreement, but until then... I'll still focus on two things. Eh. Paano i-address yung immediate impact ng uh, COVID? And number two, how do we move forward? Sean Sona protests are now prohibited in the Commission on Human Rights along Commonwealth, but rallyists are given an option to hold their pickets inside the University of the Philippines, still here in Quezon City. But authorities are encouraging them to just stay at home in order to help curb the spread of the virus. Sean? All right, thank you very much for that update from the Batasan. That was Ria Fernandez joining us live from Quezon City.